This is day seven on the Upper Kanik Glacier at the base of Mount Marcus Baker now. We've made three trips to the base of the mountain and attempted summoning once, all without the power of wind. Planning a project like this for over almost half a year, of course, creates huge expectations. You come out to a place like Alaska where you can actually never really plan and things are so different and you really have to adapt, you have to be flexible, change your plans and live with what you get and that's been quite different and difficult for me. How's the snow? Horrible. If you're in the mountains, you're always in danger. The weather can change very fast. <clears throat> the area around you can change. So you're always in a certain kind of danger. But what I think is um, without us humans, there won't be any danger for the nature here. So we bring the danger with ourselves, with our own decisions. If you then bring in a whole team, different personalities, different strengths, different weaknesses, then this whole danger gets a lot of more complexity. Snow does not go up there. Yeah. It's, you know, it could avalanche, could not avalanche. If it avalanches, we're in big trouble. Cheese grater. Grizzle. It's grains. Tons. Which makes the whole slope really bad. So we decide to postpone the summit run and go down safely and wait for a better day. I was never before faced with such a big challenge of kiting one single mountain 
in such an extreme environment like up here at the Nick Glacier and uh, depending so much on the weather and having such an unreliable and unpredictable weather situation like here in Alaska. The weather in Alaska is just crazy. Welcome to Alaska! Ow! Oh, this is good. Oh! Push all troubles away 